as a, as a kid growing up on a farm, we had a truck, a 1980 GMC, that when it finally died, had over 700,000 miles, oh my gosh. three transmissions, and four engines. <laughs> my stepdad, I'm like, at that point, isn't it? I mean, you replace the whole thing anyway. But really? <laughs> well, no, it's paid for, so don't add another bill in the mm. monthly bill. So, but we uh, keep it running, and that was, you know. So then you take good care of it. That's the way I was raised. And my grandparents were you know, Depression era farmers. I mean, and my farm, we actually heard the saying, don't throw that twine away, it's still good. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know if you grew up on a farm, you've heard that before, but that's the way I was raised. So that's, and that's the way you look at everything, whether it's politics, whether it's life. You, if it still runs, my pickup still, or no, my pickup, my envoy still runs well. Keep the tires on it, you know, mm -hmm. get it changed, get the oil changed regularly, it'll run for a long time. Now, I believe I read maybe in the Min Post story, and you, you said that you would not uh, make any effort to repeal the gay marriage law. You know, I, I think it's more of a, it being the law of the land. You know, even if elected governor, there's going to be a Democrat Senate. So, and I don't, you know, they just passed the bill. I, I highly doubt that they would bring it back up again. So, and from my pers perspective, we had the vote on the marriage amendment. It failed. The people got their chance to vote. Um, they now have gone, which I think the other way, but the people will decide. And from my, pers from my perspective, my point, I think it's time to focus on careers, Minnesota competitiveness. Why are we wasting so much money? You know, we right now have about a $600 million deficit. But with taxes and fees, the all Democrat legislature and governor raised taxes by over two and a half billion dollars. Most Minnesotans want to know what are you doing with all the extra money? What are you spending it on? Thirteen hundred new government bureaucrats, you know, a lot of new spending, a lot of new agencies, but are we actually fixing roads? Are we gonna make you know, fix potholes on Highway Two? We were down in Marshall yesterday. They want Highway fourteen finished. Is any of that, you know, extra billion and a half dollars going to go to finish roads, or is it just going to feed the bureaucracy? Many of the Republicans who say no new taxes, and you maintain that for in certain many sessions, uh, say the, that we have to go over to government waste. Any specific programs or th areas where you would cut, where you think we need to cut in Minnesota? Well, I think just the, the overall size and scope. You know, we have four or five different agencies when it comes to clean water. Now, we're the line of 10,000 lakes, so we should probably have more than one agency. But do we really need four or five? Because not only does it dilute the authority and the effectiveness, but also dilutes the blame. You know, if someone comes in and says, well, I'd like to open my business, okay, you're near a lake. Yep, I got permission. And then later on they come back and find out, we didn't get all the permission. So the one agency can say to the other's agency, it was him, you know, or it was her. And from that standpoint, there's no accountability in government. So I think just the size and scope. And then we have to introduce technology. You know, if Target knows when my kids were little and wearing diapers, now I'm getting back to school stuff. You know, we're, mm -hmm. we're talking about pencils. If they can identify that much about my daily life just because I swipe my card when I go in there, maybe we in government should use some of that technology to identify who needs care, which kids need educational opportunities, and which families are on the on the edge of, of being you know homeless or need food to provide for their children. Why not use technology instead of just filling up agencies with more bureaucrats? Nothing wrong with you know having good people working in government, but we're not using technology, at least my experience in 10 years at the Capitol, nearly enough, and we're still wasting money.